Okay, today we're going to take a look at solving some exponential equations without the use of logarithms. And what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of this rule right here that says that if we have two bases that are set equal to each other, then we can set the exponents each equal to each other and solve. And with an exponential equation, that's where our x will be. It'll be in the exponent, and so that's going to make us a nice little equation that we can solve for x. All right, now in order to do this, you do have to be familiar with your a bunch of exponent properties, all right, laws of exponents. All right, I realize you cannot read this in this video. Um, I'll have this paper available for download in the comments section below the video. Um, but things like, you know, when multiplying like bases, you add the exponents. When dividing like bases, you subtract the exponents. Power raised to a power, then you multiply the exponents. All right, I've got seven out here, seven different um, laws of exponents that will become very, very handy when you're trying to manipulate these equations in order to make your bases the same. All right, so for my first example here, let's look at maybe, say, 5 to the 3x equals 1 over 125. All right, now my first thing I want to look at is, all right, I've got a base of 5 over here. I've got 125 here. I do a little playing around with the numbers, and hopefully I can come up with the fact that 5 to the third power is 125. So that's going to be my first step. I'm going to replace that. So 5 to the 3x stays the same on the left-hand side. I'm going to replace the 125 with a 5 to the third. All right, now using my laws of exponents, all right, uh, this is in the base. It's in the denominator. I want it up in the top, and I can move it up there and make that exponent negative. That's a law of exponents. So now I can rewrite as 5 to the 3x equals 5 to the negative 3. All right, I have accomplished my goal of making my bases the same, so now I can set my exponents equal the same. 5 and 5 are my like bases. I can set 3x equal to negative 3. That gives me a nice little equation that I can solve, dividing both sides by 3, and I get x equals negative 1. So I was able to solve that exponential equation without the use of logs because I could get like bases. All right, second example. Let's take a look at maybe something like 2 raised to the 7x times 8 equals 256 raised to the x. All right, a little more complicated. We've got two exponents there that have an x in it. That's okay. We're going to do one thing at a time until we get our like bases and use our laws of exponents. Um, I've already got a base of 2, and I can look at that 8 and go, oh yeah, 2 to the third power is going to be 8, so I can replace that number. 256 is 2 to the eighth, all right? So we will make those changes in the first step. 2 to the 7x we're going to leave. 8 I'll change to 2 to the third. And then the 256 I will go 2 to the eighth and then raise to that x because I still haven't done anything with that x. All right, now here's some laws of exponents. When multiplying like bases, I can add the exponent. So I'm going to use the law of exponent here to rewrite this as 2 raised to the 7x plus 3. All right, and this one, power raised to a power, it is the law of exponent. I just I can multiply that 8 and x and get rid of those parentheses. So I can write this as 2 to the 8x. All right, again, I've got my like bases of 2, so I can set those exponents equal to each other into a nice little equation. 7x plus 3 equals 8x. All right, subtract 7x from both sides. I'm going to have 3 equal to x. So again, pretty good there. All right, now let's do uh, one more example, uh, a little more complicated maybe than those two have been. Um, let's do something that looks like say 64 raised to the 2x over a 16 raised to the 2x plus 3 equals 1. Let's throw that in there to be a little bit different. All right, I need to solve this equation for x. I want to do this without the use of logarithm, so I'm going to try to make those bases the same. All right, um, both of them with being 64 and 16, it looks like I'm going to be able to rewrite 64 as 2 to the 6th. And it looks like I can rewrite the 16 as 2 to the 4th. All right, so rewriting that, I will have 2 to the 6th raised to that 2x all over. I'm going to rewrite that 16 as 2 to the 4th. And then that is raised to the 2x plus 3, which is still there. Okay, now both of these are power raised to a power. 
And the thing on the bottom one is, this really is a binomial right there. You're going to have to distribute that 4 to both of those places when you do the power raised to a power on that one. Um, so my numerator is going to simplify down to 2 to the 12x. And my denominator will simplify to a 2 raised to an 8x plus 12 equals 1. Okay, now I think I'm going to bring my steps over here so I have some more room. All right, again, laws of exponents. I have like bases. All right, um, I'm dividing these like bases. So when I divide like bases, I can subtract the exponents. So that's what I'm going to do so that I can get down to one line. So I'm going to have a 2 raised to the 12x minus this binomial. So I'm going to put it in the set of parentheses, 8x plus 12 and then equals 1. So now I've gotten rid of that quotient by using the laws of exponents. Simplifying that right there, I'm just going to have something like 2 raised to the 4x minus 12, because I had to distribute that negative right there, equals 1. All right, now, equals 1 over here, I need like bases before I can set my exponents equal to each other. All right, if you remember, any number raised to the 0 power is always 1. So I'm going to choose 2 as my base, so I can have like bases. 2 raised to the 0 power is going to equal 1. I'm going to replace that right there. 2 raised to the 4x minus 12 on this side. I'm going to rewrite that as 2 to the 0 power. Okay, I've got my like bases. So now I can finally set those exponents equal to each other. 4x minus 12 equals 0. Add 12 to both sides. 4x equals 12. Divide both sides by 4. x equals 3. All right, so just three nice little examples showing you how you can uh, manipulate some exponential equations and solve them without the use of logarithms.